Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So, for today's Wednesday video, we've got a very long special, and this is week one of my dog days of summer. And if you want to do this challenge with me, you can either start late or wait either till next month or just start it and just do 30 days of it. Um, Pretty much what I kind of see this challenge as is a challenge you can do anytime just during the summer. Just do it 30 days. Um, or preferably 30 days in a row of a different dog every day. It doesn't have to be a super realistic drawing is that I do. I'm just doing this for my own benefit. I want to study how they look. This is something I've been planning for a couple of months now. Um, I want to get a good idea of how their bodies are formed, which is why I'm also doing the pre-sketches. And then I'm doing the post-sketches, or the big drawing at the finale after I've sketched a couple out and get a good, just general feel for how the dog breed is. Um, so that's, this is something I recommend any of you doing if you're ever trying to learn how to draw something or just learn how something works just break it down to simple things um i typically like what oh what i learned how to do pretty much with especially dogs is break them down into simple shapes i actually have a book about how to draw dogs um that i did do some tracings of when i was younger and it pretty much with it, how it breaking down and telling you how to draw stuff it said just break them down into simple shapes and this is something I still utilize till this day um, as you can see in some of my sketches I start off with just looking at the head getting the head wrecked in looking at the torso and getting how big or small that is wrecked in and then general just the general area of where the buttock is um, I didn't do this as much with my big drawing just because it's just not something I'm really in the habit for with them. Um, with my finished pieces, I don't often do a lot of the under sketch and stuff. I a lot of the time just focus on what I'm drawing. I look at what I'm drawing and then look at my paper. It's very referenced though. At least with the first picture, I did change the ears because I didn't want him to have the little barriers. I wanted to have, have the little poofy ears that I love on Pomeranian. So I just kind of switched that from the original pose. Um, but for the most part, I did try and keep it fairly close to the reference. But as always with drawing from reference, you can add things, remove things to your liking. Um, it's really just kind of making it your own because it is your own art. So yeah, you can make it your own by what you choose to add, what you choose to remove, the way you go about making it. Um, my favorite uh, utensil to do art is, of course, colored pencils. I use them all the time. Um, if you haven't already noticed that, um, you might not have been here for very long. <laughs> um, I just find them to be one of the easiest things to do. I can just grab them and go and then I find them pretty easy to blend. I find them very understandable. It's, it's just a very simple tool for me. It's almost like a no-brainer. I can just take them and go. I just understand them. I've been working with them and I just understand how they work and it's easy to use them and easy to clean up after them and everything. Easy setup, easy takedown. So yeah, so here are my first five days actually. So this is up until Tuesday the 5th, which is also when I'm recording this audio. Shh, it's very late at night. I'm trying not to be too loud. Um, but yeah, my first five days was Chihuahua, pu no, not Chihuahua. Oh my gosh, I keep calling them Chihuahuas. I am so sorry. They're Pomeranians. I I don't even really like chihuahuas much, but I do like Pomeranians. Um, Pomeranian, a pug, a chow chow, um, what is it? 
the starts with an R. Let me look this up. Sorry, Rhodesian Ridgeback. Sorry, I, I remembered the Ridgeback thing. Um, Rhodesian Ridgeback, which is the one running on the beach. I really liked how that one turned out. That was that was a fun one to do. Kind of worrying at first with the way the colored pencils were laying down, as you will see. But yeah, um, and then finally, that, yeah, finally for Tuesday, aka the day I'm recording the audio, um, I did, um, the Basset Hound, so, if you really like any of these, these breeds, um, I'd be happy, I'm happy I was able to supply one for you, um, and I hope to see other people trying this, if you do, tag me, um, I hope you enjoy seeing what I'm producing from this, I'm really having a lot of fun with it so far, it's really keeping me busy <laughs> during the days, which is exactly what I need, Ugh. when I'm not busy I get bored, um, being home from the summer is of course very hard, but just because it takes a very long time for me to do pieces like these, and they're not as refined as maybe I would like them, with a big piece that I do for class, I'd spend a lot more time. Um, a day isn't always necessarily enough time to get a well-rounded finished piece, but um, I think I'm doing pretty good at the moment. I've really enjoyed everything that I've produced so far, and other people seem to enjoy it too. Um, so just because of how much footage I have today, just because I have the sketches and then I have process of the actual finished picture for each of them. This video is a little bit longer, it's 20 minutes, if you can already tell, we're 7 minutes in at the moment. Um, but yeah, I would like you guys to go down below, let me know what you think. I kind of wouldn't be opposed to selling the originals of these pieces if anyone is interested. I want to gauge interest down below. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in purchasing an original. Um, I'm not sure how much I'd price them at. I'd probably price them at least $50. I'm not sure yet. Um, don't take that as a solid pricing. Um, I'm kind of thinking about what I want to do with them. Uh, doo -doo. But, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I think I have to say for today. I do have a long list of dog breeds that I'm going about. If there's any specifically that you want to see, um, that I have already had requested to me, let me know down below so I can try and squeeze those guys in so you can see that. Um, I have a couple that I'm a little bit more lenient on removing and then some that people requested me to do so I will try and do them just so you know there's a lot of dog breeds but 30 dog breeds is quite a lot if <laughs> in case you haven't ever actually looked at all the dog breeds um I think there's probably less than 30 of the really well-known ones but I don't know I may be doing a couple that are a little bit more out there, but I hope you enjoy seeing them all. I hope you enjoy seeing my um, pieces of them, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, as I've said a couple of times now, comment down below, down, 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 and um, give this video a thumbs up if you really liked it. Um, I hope you did. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more and um, this is my second month of art challenges so um hopefully i don't burn out just yet we'll see i have an eight, eight hour day of work tomorrow that's gonna be hard to complete a piece with that but yeah <laughs> anyways subscribe if you want to see more if you want to keep really proud of my yeah, my videos my pieces and everything I try and upload Wednesdays, Saturdays, and occasionally Sundays. 
Um, sorry I didn't get my art supply Sunday out on Sunday, but this next Sunday I can upload it and then I need to start recording some more. Those are some of the more fun videos that I feel like I make. So I'm happy to start producing them again, but it's kind of harder when I'm doing these big art challenges to do stuff like that. But yeah, anyways, if you really want YouTube to let me know when I upload, hit the little bell icon and it will tell you with a notification every single time I upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye 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 bye.